Real Disciples, R-E-A-L, Real Disciples of Jesus, disciples who reject passivity, engage with God, accept responsibility, and lead, live courageously. Here at Trinity Lutheran Church, we seek to be disciples. This year we're talking about disciples. You've heard me, if you've been around us at all, talk about this acronym, Real Disciples. This past weekend, Pastor Chad gave a great message as we kicked off our sermon series called Love Does. He talked about parental love. And I don't know if you are a parent. I don't know how many kids you have, how old they are. Again, I don't know if you're not a parent. But the reality of it is, is these parenting principles, these truths that God shares with parents, right, He shares with all of us so that we can all take responsibility in passing the faith on to the next generation. And as I heard Pastor Chad preaching, I couldn't help but think about being a real parent, a parent who rejects passivity, engages with God, accepts responsibility, and lives courageously. And so pray you can take this message I'm about to share. Take it to heart. Again, I don't know how old your kids are. I don't know if you have children, but this is a truthful message, and so may God bless it for all of us. And so a real parent rejects passivity. A real parent loves their kids. A real parent doesn't just pawn their kids off to the TV, just doesn't pawn their kids off to a school, just doesn't drop their kids off at church. A real parent rejects passivity. A real parent engages in parenting their children, especially a real disciple who is a real parent. Right, rejects passivity, right, again, just doesn't drop their kids off at church, but engages their kid right, in the faith. Right, as we heard this past weekend from Deuteronomy and certainly in the New Testament times, two parents, what they did is they passed the faith on to their children. They talked about the scriptures. They talked about the word. They implanted the word in their children's hearts. Right, we do something called Faith Five here at Trinity. Where you talk about highs and lows where you talk about a Bible verse, if you read a Bible verse, where you bless each other, where you pray with each other. That's rejecting passivity. I think for some parents, right, we are not just tempted when our children are young, but certainly when our children are adults, right? Hey, I'm good. Hands clean. I'm no longer their parent. Well, that's not the reality, right? God still has you in their life for you to keep loving on them. Certainly things change, the dynamic change, but we're always called to reject passivity, to stay active in our children's lives. Real parents engage with God. Certainly that's already there in rejecting passivity, but engage with God. Real parents, just like all those parents did in the Gospels, bringing their kids to Jesus for healing, we pray for our children as real parents. That's what real parents do who are engaged with God. We pray for our children. And certainly, again, we engage our children with God as our relationship with God is being lived out. We allow our children to do that as well. We bring them to church. Right? We bring them the Bible studies, we bring them the confirmation, we bring them the Sunday school, VBS. Right? We engage with God, we serve with them ways that God's calling us to serve. Right? I love here at Trinity, so many families actually serve together in different ways through SSS. Families serve together in worship, uh, with media stuff, with hospitality stuff. When you see parents and their kids serving together, it's pretty incredible, pretty amazing. Real parents accept responsibility. What I love there is when I think about that, I think about what real parents do, real disciples who are parents. They accept responsibility in that they are able to reconcile with their children. They're able to confess to their children. They're able to say these magic words that parents teach their children to say to others and to say to them, but parents actually live this out by saying to their son or daughter, I am sorry, I messed up. And certainly for Parents of young children, we can say that pretty easy. Once our children are older, we're still called to say that, to accept responsibility, to keep healing that relationship, to be parents who accept responsibility. And also real parents, they live courageously. They lead courageously. To be a parent, to pass on our faith to the next generation means that we need to make sacrifices. It means that we need to be humble. It means we need to be selfless. That we need to surrender our own agendas for our children's uh, agendas and put their needs above our own. Right? That's what it means to live courageously, to lead courageously, to parent courageously. So today, and I don't know if you're a parent or not, but we are all called to be real disciples. And for the next generation, we are called to be real parents who reject passivity, engage with God, accept responsibility, and lead and live courageously. So may you be a real parent today for the next generation.